What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Lords mobile video and today guys we're going to be taking a look at the Ambrosial Cup versus the Champion Accessory when it comes to spear attacks. Uh, what is actually the best accessory to use if you're sending an infantry blast or a range blast? Should you really be using the Champion Accessory or does the Cup work out better? Um, there's a reason why um, I decided to do this testing and we'll get to it in just a moment before we get there though Make sure you smash that like button and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed I'd really do appreciate it. We're getting closer and closer to 70,000 absolutely awesome as always Thank you for the support and thanks for coming through on the video um, Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just jump over to the familiar building first of all to start this off Okay, and really this is kind of the reason and the inspiration I guess for this video um, If we take a look at the Huey hops, um, which is the infantry uh, level 5 pack 5 fam that you'll use in your infantry blast and just take a look at what the actual description of the skill says. So it's Brutal Bunny, which we're looking at. As you can see here, it says deals 150% damage to every four seconds up to five times. We know this to one of the largest enemy squads. Damage is based on your initial infantry attack when 8% of your troops have fallen. Now, the word which we're looking at here is initial. Okay, now by saying your initial infantry attack, does that mean, you know, when you look at your stats where it says infantry attack, what is there? Or is it the game going to include the army attack in that as well? Believe it or not, that's actually quite an important factor. And not only does it say initial on the bunny, but if we take a look at the Bon Appetit as well on the Holy Terror skill, you can see here, it says the same thing, that the 600% damage is based on your initial infantry attack. Okay, so why does that matter? Well, if we go over to the, uh, the workshop here and just pop over to all equipment, go to accessories, and we'll do the filter as infantry attack, because that's what we're going to base this whole test on. You can see that the accessories are here. We're going to look at the blessing, actually, and the ambrosial cup. Again, the blessing, the faith, the same thing when it comes to infantry, okay? It's just that the blessing has range on it and the, the faith has uh, cavalry on it. But as we look at infantry, these, this comparison will be fine. Now, why does it matter whether or not they include army attack? Well, quite simply, check it out. The Ambrosial Cup comes with 35% infantry attack. The Champion Blessing comes with 21%, which is 14% less than the Ambrosial Cup. Now, however, the Champion Blessing does also have 14% army attack, which is why it's so good in a mixed set. But on the actual blast itself, is it going to make a big difference that to get to 35%, you have to add that army attack on? When the familiars say the attack damage is based off the initial infantry attack, does that mean that an Ambrosial Cup is going to give you a better result because the initial quote unquote initial there is 14% higher before any add-ons go on like army attack. I did go through to IGG customer support and ask this question. Who better to answer this question than the developers of the game itself? Although the response I got from them was go test it and find out for yourself. Here we are. <laughs> so the only other real big difference between the Ambrosial Cup and the Champion Blessing, other than the fact that, you know, the uh, you've got the army attack here, is that the Champion Blessing does have more HP. You can see if we're doing an infantry blast with an Ambrosial Cup, we're going to be getting 21% infantry max HP. The Champion Blessing is going to be giving us 35% army max HP. So that HP could make a big difference, 14%. That could sway it as well. But all in all, I just want to know what gives me the better result. What one do I use that gives me the less losses and kills more of the enemy's troops? So what I did is me and a, a friend of mine from TWK, Mr. Corinthians, went ahead and set up a camp test to test this out and see once and for all which is the best accessories to go ahead and use in your spear marches. Let's dive to it and let's see what those results came out like. Okay, so Corinthians has set a camp down for me to hit. 
Now the gear I'm going to wear during this is just the chest piece so I don't eat my food. And I'm going to use the chest piece on both attacks so it's going to be a fair test. And I'm literally just going to use the cup. No other gear pieces, just the cup, no uh, jewels in it. And I'm going to go in infantry phalanx because I'm going to be sending an infantry march. Now he's going to have cavalry in his camp and he'll be sitting in a cavalry phalanx. The talents, everything's all going to stay the same on both hits. So there's no kind of fluctuation due to talent swapping or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and scout the camp just so I can show you what's going to be inside it. We'll take a look at that right now. And as you can see, look, no heroes, no familiars, just 100,000 tier 2 cavalry. So I'm going to get countered completely with this march. And I'm doing that so that my familiars do actually proc off. Because we're gonna, that's, that's pretty much what we're testing here, how much damage the familiars are going to do um, on the two different gear pieces. So we're going to go ahead and set an infantry march. Here it comes. We're going to go with 100,000 uh, tier 2 gladiators. There we go. And boom. And we can go ahead and get ready to send that march. It's going to be interesting. Once we've gone ahead and hit, uh, we'll go and check and see if the familiars did proc off. And uh, let's get that march going. So we're starting to walk into the camp. And I'm definitely going to lose this. 100,000 infantry into 100,000 cavs. Never a good thing. And there is the hit. Good stuff. And I should get a walk back here. Yes. <laughs> I kind of figured that would happen. No problem at all. Uh, before we get to the actual battle report of the Ambrosial Cup, which we'll do that in a moment, let's go straight in and get ready with the uh, with the blessings. So switch on out the Ambrosial Cup now for the champion blessing, if I can find it. It's at the top there, Prince. There we go. <laughs> oh my God. I'm getting blind in my old age, guys. Uh, so we're going to take out the jewels, a few gems going down the drain here, but it's all worth the science, so let's get it. Take out the extractor, I've got some gold extractors, I don't know where they came from, but we'll definitely use one of those and save a few gems. And there it is, we've got our blessing locked in, no jewels, uh, so it's literally going to be exactly the same hit as before. The only difference, only thing we've changed is we've gone ahead and put the champion blessing in. So it's going to be really interesting to see the difference in the results, um, which will give us a true kind of like reading as to what is going to give us the best result compared to a cup or a blessing. All right, 100,000 infantry going in once again. Wouldn't it be funny if I actually beat the camp here? Because that kind of would be the test over with, wouldn't it? Like the blessing one, we beat the camp. <laughs> uh, infantry hits and let's have a look. We get a walk back again. Okay, no problem at all. So both uh, pieces of gear gave us a loss. Uh, but the question is, of course, how much of a loss? What was the better loss? Let's take a look at it. So we're going to dive into the Ambrosial Cup first. Before we get there, let's go into the battle and take a look and just make sure our familiars did proc because this wouldn't be a good result or a good report to look at if the familiars didn't even activate. Um, so let's have a look. There's the infantry going slam bam straight into the cavalry. And there comes our first level five familiar, the Bon Appetit firing in and we go straight in with the bunny after beautiful so both the familiars did proc let's make sure all the other familiars did go off as well just to make sure both hits were identical there's the griffin and the German gremlin followed by the infantry shield familiar good stuff okay so all the familiars did proc on that hit let's come out of there and this is the ambrosial cup hit we had 33,990 losses and we killed 26,942. So that is the result we got uh, with the Ambrosial Cup. So the question is now, what did we get with the Blessing? Again, before we go down and check the numbers, let's take a look at the video just to make sure that the familiars did all proc just like they did with the Ambrosial Cup. I wanna make sure this is kind of as, as equal as it can possibly be, guys. So here we go, first familiar proccing nice and early once again. It's the Bon Appetit firing in. We should be following up with a bunny, there it is. Bunny going in as well, throwing the egg. Great, so both the pack five fams went, followed straight up with Griffin and Gemin Gremlin. And I'm sure the shield familiar, there he is, is on his way as well. Boom, there we go. So, okay, taking it back to the numbers, let's take a look. We've got 33,462 losses on our side which is actually less losses and on the attack side 27,003 
which is actually more kills as well. So we lost less and we killed more with the champion accessory, which is really, really cool because it means that the army attack is actually included with that initial infantry attack. 528 less deaths and 61 more kills with the champion accessory, which is a clear winner with what we can see here. Uh, it also means that I'm also going to have to keep rejeweling my champion accessories now when it comes to blasting. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Well, there you have it, guys. We've done the testing, and it turns out, although on the 100,000 tier 2 camp test, the difference was quite minimal, when it comes to things like a rally against the castle over 2 million troops, or even a wonder rally over 4 million troops, those numbers are going to increase dramatically. So, as you can see, the, if you're going to do a spear march and you want to get the best result, then pop your champion accessories into your gear. Um, which can be a pain because it means having to redo a little bit when it comes to using your champion accessories But they are definitely going to give you the better result overall I think that army attack definitely is included in the in the actual hit itself. I think if the uh, Champion accessory was hitting, you know 14% less I think we would have seen a much more difference or a bigger difference or a bigger gap should I say in those two test results in fact the the cup would have would have won I think um, but the fact is the champion accessory came out on top. So yeah, army attacks included and uh, that extra HP definitely does help as well. So although it's close, the winner on this one is the champion accessory. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the comparison. If you've got anything you'd like me to do a comparison on in a future video, then let me know down in the comments if you want certain bits of gear or different familiars or anything, you know, compared against. I don't mind going into the game and doing the testing and bringing you the results. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. If you haven't already subscribed, definitely do that. Smash that like button and I'll catch you later. Until then, stay safe, everyone. And of course, peace out.